What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of the Rays video. So, I'm gonna get back to doing uh, event-based uh, video, so every event that comes out, you know, we'll go over it. And I'll probably run through the harder stages in video form, and then if there's any summons I plan to do, I'll obviously have a dedicated summon video. This is a very interesting event, because we haven't had an event like this where it's just been four characters... Uh, without any seasonals or, you know, any recurring characters getting a new mirror jar for you to use for an event. So this is definitely a very interesting thing. So there are some things I want to go over here. So obviously, this event is for uh, Chalcedony, Hermana, uh, Galando, and Forest. Assuming I'm saying their names right. I don't know all of those characters because I haven't played all their respective games. But I guess first things first, let's go over to the banner. Um, so what they did with this, and I'm not really surprised that they did this because they're really just, they wanted to make sure they had all the normal party members from every Tales game playable before the four-year anniversary. Now, for those who don't know, the four-year anniversary should be starting on the 28th of February, the final day of February, which is when it normally starts. So we're about a little over a month away from the four-year anniversary, which I'm just going to go out and say it. With the Decisive Mirror Jars that we're still missing, I do expect the... Unless they decide to do dual Mirror Jarts, you know, since that's kind of the new thing they've been doing over the last year, I do expect the Anniversary characters to be Ludger, Emil, and Mila, because they are the only main characters still without uh, Decisive Mirror Jarts. So I expect, expect it to be those three, and then one of the boss characters, you know, whether it's like Beasley, Kronos... Uh, I guess Brute from Dawn of the New World, but I don't think he would, uh, be chosen. Um, yeah, or, or, like, Maxwell, for example. But, other than that, I, I don't know what they'll do. They, I guess they could do, they could mirror, you know, year, like, how they did with year one and year two. Year one anniversary, we had Lloyd, Cress, and Luke. And then, at the year two anniversary, they mirrored that with Colette, Tyr... And, uh, uh, Mint. So, with Year 3, we had Vague, Velvet, and Asbel. So, I guess they could very well do... So, what would it be? It would be Sharia, Laffy Set, and... I don't know, Annie, maybe? Uh, because obviously they can't do Claire because she's not a playable character. So, I don't know who they would do to Mirror Vague, but... I'd say the most likely scenario is that they do the final three characters that don't, that are main characters that don't have decisive mirror darts yet. Um, from main series games, obviously. Alright, but enough about that. Uh, just wanted to get that little bit of information out there. So they do have a step up. They have a step up for these four because there are four new characters, so they probably want to give people who want to spend money a chance to get them. And then what they also did is you get half off. For, I think it's probably just your first multi. I don't know if it's permanent. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see. Because I am going to do this half-off multi after we go through our tickets. Uh, depending on how we do. Because, I, you know, a half-off multi is pretty nice. Um, but I do want people to keep in mind, it is around this time where we do see a collab start. You know, for the last two years, there we had the Gintama collab last year at the end of January. And then the year before that, I believe, was the God Eater collab. Uh, which was right before the anniversary. So we should see a collab here, either next event or the event after. So we should have two events before the anniversary starts. Probably a Valentine's event and a collab, and then the anniversary starts. So do keep that in mind uh, when it comes to upcoming stuff. But um, this is half off. Like I said, I don't know if it's a one-time only type deal. Okay, so rates are, you know, normal 5% rates. There's only four mirror darts, so if you want all four of these characters, this is probably your best chance to get their stuff. They all have one five-star each, and then they all have two uh, four-stars. So getting all their stuff is going to be a lot easier than it would be, you know, if it was only two characters and then two characters getting seasonals. Um, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and hop over to the event, because there are a few things I want to talk about with the event. So normally, we usually only get one or two new characters with an event. By the way, this event does leave on the 30th, and we don't know what the next event's going to be, like I was just mentioning. So if it's a collab or, you know, a Valentine's event, uh, that'll be starting on the 31st. Um, 
So normally we only have, you know, up to two characters. So they did have to change things around a bit. The event shop itself does only nor only have 10 tickets and everything is still normal price. So all this stuff is the normal price there. And then of course, you've got your five copies of the four star weapons you have to get, which is 84,000 of the big currency per character. So that's a lot. But as you can see, the event already gave me 50,000 of that just by going through the event itself, but that still does leave for you to get a lot of stuff, especially with only 10 days for this event. You know, it's the 21st right now, and this goes until the 31st. Um, and then the other thing is some of these stages actually gave tickets as well. So as you can see, there was a ticket here. Um, I'm not sure how many stages. So what's that? That's stage four. All right, stage five was still giving tickets. Okay, so you get 15 tickets total. So they didn't they didn't double up, which I would like I wish they would have, but 15 tickets is is still a decent amount. And then we're we're actually gonna hop into these. Uh, what do we actually get from this? Okay, so we just get EXP crystals. So this is just the normal farming stage, so we'll go ahead and run through this real quick. Uh, for my actual team, as you can see, not a lot of people. I mean, it's only been about an hour since the event went live, but as you can see, there aren't a lot of people who've gone ahead and summoned on this banner. I think a lot of people, A, realize that these are, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way to the characters because I don't know the characters that well, but the fact that they were saved to be the last ones added as normal playable characters from Tales games, they're probably the least popular uh, of the ones that, you know, could be added. So they were just kind of like the last of the barrel and they're just being thrown in. So a lot of people are probably not gonna summon on these, so the main bonus people are going to get are from their other characters as you can see here for the lower currency my bonus is 826 because i literally just grabbed my four highest so we've got lloyd molina and emil all have above 200 you know 200 or more and then colette's just about there so i really am just throwing these four together to get the best bonus that i can so we'll go ahead we'll hop into uh this stage right here and then uh last event they had an 80 ap stage so uh i'll be interested to see if there's an 80 ap stage for this as well you know to kind of make things a bit faster because most players at this point myself included have over 250 ap and doing 40 ap stages does take especially with how long these stages are it does take you know probably a good you know 20 30 minutes to use up all your stamina and if you're someone who wants to you know spend diamonds or mirror gems to kind of do more runs um it's gonna take you a very long time so I am still, I do have a video plan where I want to talk about updates that I think the game should add, you know, moving past the four year anniversary, but um, skip tickets, a way to skip, you know, just use your stamina and skip like Crestoria does, I think is something that Raze would definitely benefit from. To really uh, save players some time and be able to farm up what they need to farm in a quicker fashion. But for the most part, you know, like this stage, for example, this is the normal farming stage. I just leave this on auto and let my characters just run it themselves, which they very easily can. Sometimes I forget I have their dual mirror guard. See, just like that. Easy. Like, I'll usually have my phone just do it on the side, and if I'm paying attention when I get to the boss stage, I'll actually use the mirror jars. But for the most part, I'm just kind of letting it go on its own. All right, is there anything else stage-wise, or is that it? Okay, so this is going to be the stage where we fight all four characters, and then after this would probably be the ADAP stage if they implemented one here as well. Um, let's see if we got anyone. Okay, no. We're just gonna go with it with that. I expect, you know, probably tomorrow I'll see a few more people with actual um you know, these characters mirror jarts, but I'm still not expecting to see a ton just because, you know, 
it's right before the anniversary, so people, pr especially since there's no, like, seasonals or second mirage arts for characters, so it's like, the, the appeal to summon here is not very high. I do like this kind of, like, stage. You can see the water right there and everything. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's beat them all up. And we have spirit gears here, so in case something goes wrong. Right, let's use the support uh, right here. Oh, wow. We're getting mirror jarred already. Well, Melina's already filled up, so let's go ahead and use this. This might be able to take out one or two of them. Oh, I took out three of them, so Hermana's the only... I think that's Hermana. Uh, it's the only one we still have to take care of. Alright, you know what? I'm not dealing with you right now. There we go. And obviously, we're not going to get all the completions, I believe, because we didn't actually use the characters that are supposed to be used here, but we'll see. Oh, no, we did. Okay, so we got that extra 20 diamonds there. I guess they probably didn't force you to use the characters here because... Okay, so we do have the ADP stage, so I'll go ahead and show that off uh, while we're here. Um, they probably don't make you use the actual event characters because, obviously, they're no they don't have double mirror jarts. And it's not like before the equipment update where you can just use... Um, You, you can't put old mirror arts or other mirror arts on characters that it's not for anymore. You can only... So, like, before, like, let's say you only had one mirror jar for Saray, but you had an extra Ludger mirror jar you weren't using for anything. You used to be able to put it on him as his sub one just to increase his stats. Now you can't do that. Um, okay. So, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I haven't actually seen this comic before. That's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead, we'll run through this, uh, how many bosses... Yeah, there's seven bosses and 28 treasure chests to run through. So if you haven't done the ADAP stage before, this is kind of what it looks like. Actually playing, this isn't... This shouldn't give us any real trouble at all, honestly. Alright, that takes care of that. If you are a newer player, the stage might be a bit much for you to handle. Now, of course, your mirror gauge is going to fill up pretty fast here. This will help out, because once you get to the final stage, your mirror gauge will be pretty high. Okay. Getting a lot of these. Oh, with a lot of chests in between uh, fight three and four. All right, boom. Pretty much get the gist of this uh, at this point. Pretty much the ADAP stage is just for you to kind of double up on the rewards you're getting and save yourself some time. Which can be nice, you know, if you don't mind doing it, because... But, for example, I have 270 total AP, so 
If each one takes 80, I can pretty much do it three times instead of having to do the uh, 40 AP stage, you know, six or seven times. Make sure I got them all. Yep, we got all the chests. We're just go ahead and use all of them to see how much we can hit for. Not gonna waste the spirit here, so. Real shame we weren't just bullying the uh, boss the entire time when we did the over smash, because then we could have really seen some high numbers for sure. But uh, that should be the fun. Okay, so we get 40,000 of the small currency because of how much I get, which is a lot. Um, and even still, we get 1,000 of this, which isn't great, but getting 40,000 of that uh, will definitely go a long way for me uh, getting all this event stuff, because there are four characters worth of stuff to get. Uh, stuff for. So we'll go ahead, we'll back out of that. We're gonna see if there's any mission completions we can grab. I actually think there's... It looks like they brought back the victory tickets, which is a... I think it's like 10 or 20% chance to be a uh, mirror chart. I think it's 10% chance. It's a little gold ticket with Japanese writing on it. Um... I think it's one of the, it's going to be one of those things where once a day, if you use 100 AP, you get one of these tickets. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and look in here. Yep, there it is. So we'll go ahead and use that uh, when we go ahead and use our tickets here. Which, uh, let's just grab whatever tickets we can. I'm not going to... Spend too much time trying to make sure I grab every single one, just with whatever currency we have. We'll just grab the tickets, we'll go over and do our summons. We're going to do our ticket summons, and then we'll go ahead and do what the half-off multi to uh, see how much we get. I mean, honestly, if I get, like, two of the mirror jarts within these tickets, uh, I probably won't do the half-off multi, because I just want to be prepared for whatever's coming next, but... We shall see, so we grab that. Okay, so we were able to grab all the tickets. That's fine, then. So we should have 15 tickets over here. Which, unfortunately, they still haven't implemented a way to do multis with tickets. So, uh, we will have to use them one by one. But let's go ahead and start off with this 10% ticket and see if we can get a mirror chart from this. No guaranteed animation. Okay, just a four-star for Gaius, which I cannot use anymore. But we'll take those prisms. All right, let's get into these tickets, which we are going to see a download for every single one, because obviously I haven't pulled anything for any of them yet. But since this is going to be take a while, if it's not like a super uh, high-quality animation at the start, we'll go ahead and click Skip. All right, so we got a Hermana three-star for our first one. Okay. We got uh, Chalcedony. Or Chalcedony. Okay, well, at least we're getting variety. Yep, we're getting some variety. Nice to see some four-stars. And of course, with the tickets, it is also, you know, 5% rate for Mirror Jarts, so that is nice as well. Okay, so this is going to be our first dupe. There 
There you go. If I can get a full four weapons for each of them, then uh, I'll probably make a team for them and just run the 40 AP stage with them. Uh, for farming purposes, but uh, I'll just have to see if I can uh, manage that. Alright, we'll take that. I'll probably do the half-off multi regardless, just to see if it's a one-time only, or if it's... Because if it's not just one-time only, like if it's consistent, just 100, uh, that's actually pretty good for people who are wanting to collect all the mirror darts. Oh, okay, we'll leave this. It's gonna be a five-star or a mirror dart. Okay. Out of all the characters, I he looks the coolest, so he is probably the one I would want <laughs> to use the most. Okay. I've completely lost count of how many we have left, so I guess we'll uh, see when we finish up. All right. Okay, well, that was our last one, so we walked away with one five-star and no mirror jar. So we will go ahead and do this half-off multi to uh, see what it yields to us, I guess. Well, no guaranteed mirror jar animation. Here, let's just go ahead and, yeah, that was <laughs> a complete waste. But um, it was half-off, so I'm not... To Bentash. Okay, so it was a one time only, so after your first multi, it goes back to being 200 diamonds. Okay, that's nice. It, I, they should have just given us a free multi at that point, then. Um, but there is a step up as well, so for those who do want these characters, it does exist. But unfortunately, one multi and 15 tickets did not yield us any of these four mirror darts, so I guess my bonus for this event is just going to be. Uh, for the most part, um, I'm just going to keep using the team I have set up. You know, I'll get the low currency and then just keep transferring it into the big currency. Maybe I'll just wait till, like, the end of the event and just transfer it all at once so I'm not, like, doing it multiple times. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this banner. Let me know if you did any summons, how your summons went. And let me know if you were excited for... You know, the upcoming stuff like the anniversary and stuff like that. And let me know what you would like to see uh, for the anniversary as well. Oh, yeah, and one last thing to mention. Make sure every time you finish an event, you go ahead and go over here to the room because we should have... Okay, so we get one of these for each of them, which I'm going to guess each one gives 10 diamonds. You have to go ahead and click on the statues. Yep, okay, I figured. So, 10 diamonds for each, because you normally get 20 for each event completion. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see y'all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.